Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about some new news as in regards to when The Flash will return to film. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so the big thing that came out recently was the fact that one of the Batwoman actors basically said that they are not going to return to film until the fall so that means September October time is when Batwoman is potentially going to be returning to film and so with this we sort of presumed oh you know all the CW shows are probably aiming to have that same release date that same date sorry when you know they go back to film like September October time I would probably say September's the better period because I do think they want to return as quickly as they can but with their own precautions and I think each different show is going to have different start dates like you know the shows don't normally start at the same time so this is where we lead into today's video because we got to talk about this new article via deadline the title of the article is Vancouver based TV series I tentative production return dates so yeah what basically reason this article is this is how it goes a number of shows filming up north have set tentative July slash August production start dates I hear so this is the writer at Deadline. They include ABC's The Good Doctor, A Million Little Things, The CW's Supernatural, The Flash, Riverdale, Charmed and Netflix's Midnight Mass. So Deadline is an incredibly accurate source and they always have great information so they've got the scoop that apparently they are eyeing, and I think the main word is eyeing, a return date for, say, you know, the CW shows like Supernatural is obviously related to our DC TV shows. Obviously, it's not part of the same universe, but it's out there, and they work in a similar environment to our shows. So that's aiming for an end of July start which is a lot earlier than potentially the other shows. But I mean, just even hearing that gives you confidence that, you know, The Flash, Riverdale, Supergirl, all these shows can return when they want to. And, you know, they could potentially do it by the end of July. But I think it's really down to, like, the showrunners and the people behind the scenes at the CW. Like, I think the main question is, are the productions and the people behind the productions going to want their specific shows to start straight away? Or do they want to wait a bit more to sort of see how things go and see if it's a bit better by the time of say fall so you know autumn time september october around then and so several other vancouver based cw series which are not slated to debut until january are also cautiously plotting a return to production the list includes riverdale season five the flash season seven which are eyeing possible restart dates in august to september and Charmed, which is rumoured for a potential August 10th Season 3 start. So yeah, that is basically what we've been told. We've been told, according to this, that The Flash is actually eyeing to return around August to September. So obviously the September date does align to what Batwoman has said, you know, when they're potentially going to start in the fall. But seeing that Deadline is saying that they are actually starting these CW shows again in Vancouver, around you know the end of July slash August like I do actually think that the flash is probably gonna start filming in August like I got a good feeling about it I feel like they're gonna want to start and you know get into production get their actors up into Vancouver obviously right now it's very hard because America's not doing good with what's happening in the world right now and America is basically gonna have to be locked down for a long time and so one of the main problems is the fact of getting these American actors to come over to British Columbia and when they do come probably in August they're probably gonna have to quarantine considering how bad America is right now in terms of the virus and you know how likely it is that they could bring over the virus even more to Canada because right now their borders are shut and if they were to let actors in those actors from America are going to have to quarantine for two weeks. So it seems like that is a precaution that they're going to do. But like, you know, some of the shows are going to wait it out a bit till like the fall. Maybe they don't have to quarantine because, you know, there have been some recent restrictions lifted around Europe and everything like this. Obviously, Europe's handled the virus better and, you know, cases are really, really low around here. So 
you know, they've been able to lift border restrictions and ease the lockdowns in all these different countries, including the UK, where I'm from. And so, you know, with all of this said, you know, I think America and Canada are going to look over to what Europe is doing because, you know, Batman is going into production again very soon in the UK, I think in July. We've got, you know, shows returning to Hungary to film. We've got films coming back like Dune, which is filming in Hungary and Budapest very soon. And, you know, filming in Italy, Spain, lots of these different places are starting to open again. And they will be able to get actors from other countries who won't have to quarantine. So I think America and Canada will look over at what the film industry and the television industry is doing over here right now. And then you'll see, you know, if they want to wait a bit longer, say like Batwoman till September or October time. But I really do think that The Flash does want to get started. And if it does get started in August, and it's like a, you know, kind of mid-August date, they will have footage, and they already have footage for episode one. They will basically finish episode one pretty damn quick, unless they want to change anything major, because they filmed most of it already, you know, at the end of last season, because they said they're moving 20 to episode one of this new season of season seven. So with that... You know, they can get a trailer out for, you know, DC Fandom, which is the big event happening towards the end of August, which will have panels on all the DC TV shows. There'll be new footage, there'll be new looks, there'll be new announcements, kind of just like Comic Con. It will be like a replacement for Comic Con. We'll have to wait and see if we do get a trailer, but I'm guessing if they do return to film around August time, you know, we should be getting a trailer sometime at least early September to tease what's to come next like even if it's a tiny trailer because they normally do it months ahead obviously you've got the release date for season 7 being delayed all the way back till January 2021 it's a long time but I still think they're going to release a teaser and they will have those big announcements that they will reveal maybe the villain of the season some of the plot lines some of the themes at DC fandom so I don't see why they can't release a trailer sometime around then as well so let's just go back to the article and see what is going on in British Columbia where Vancouver is situated. So British Columbia has remained on high alert imposing a state of emergency very early on which is yet to be lifted even though they've been doing really well. They've successfully reopened schools, restaurants and hair salons, so hairdressers. And Canada's land border with the US continues to be closed and anyone flying into British Columbia has to self-isolate for 14 days. And this is what they say, I hear series I in production to start and restart in Vancouver in July to August are planning to self-quarantine upon arrival with talent asked to arrive two weeks prior to the projector's start date in order to comply with health orders. But apart from the mandatory self-isolation, the fact that COVID-19 appears to be largely under control in British Columbia, only 32 new cases were recorded the last three days combined, should be reassuring for US series to start filming there again. And they also mentioned the fact that the crew should be fine, like the Flash crew and, you know, all the other CW DC TV show crews should be fine because they're actually mainly based in Vancouver, the people who work behind the scenes. That shouldn't be a big problem because they're normally local crews you have some guest stars who live in Vancouver who regularly pop up on some of these different shows and directors. It's no problem for that. It's the stars because they are normally flown in from the US. There are obviously some people who are Canadian won't have the problem of having to quarantine. Maybe they will have to be quarantined because like, you know, regulations like what happens if this Canadian guy doesn't quarantine and then, you know, he comes onto the set and he's with all these American people who have quarantined for two weeks, like, is it a waste for them? So, you know, you got all those questions, and I think due to the fact that British Columbia seems to be doing pretty well with what they've done so far, even though they still remain on high alert, what they've done has been good, and it seems they are ready to bring back productions, and it seems the CW does want to return pretty soon, but not too soon. So I would say The Flash is probably going to return sometime towards the end of August is my guess. I would not be surprised if they don't return till September, but sometime around then is what we have heard. And you guys can check out the Deadline article for yourself. It's very, very long. You can read all of it and get all the details as in regards to Vancouver. But yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.